And we're heading into the big Halloween party weekend with ghosts and goblins galore. And you know, I'm not a big fan of tricks, but I love sweet treats. Barbara Piesi, the owner of Just Because Boutique on St. Armand Circle, is here to help us make some. And she's not just the owner of a professional store. You're also a professionally trained pastry chef. This is such a fun thing to learn <laughs> yeah. about you. Yeah, I've been doing this since 1992. How wow. many talents do you have? You know, you have to be like versatile here. You <laughs> never know. Oh, you look like the perfect part, too. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I just decided to do my chef everything. outfit today. So, I yeah. love it. All right, well, let's get started. Okay. So you brought us some... I brought you some shortbread cookies today okay. for cookie decorating. And the reason for the shortbread cookie is, unlike a sugar cookie that tends to get soggy over a couple mm -hmm. days, the shortbread cookie holds up. Okay. So it's perfect for our decorating. You can make it ahead of time and no worries. And okay. even if you're baking challenged, you can make it. Okay. So that's okay. even better. And they're plain, you just cookie plain. cutter and... Just, just cookie cutter. And I always say get the cookie cutters like when they're seasonal, like the bats and the shoes and so forth are good to buy at this time of year. Okay. Good idea. Okay. So right. the first thing we're going to attempt to do, ladies, is we're going to outline the cookie, which means like we're going to mm. hold our icing in. And what we're going to use okay. today is something called royal icing. Oh. And it's actually made with meringue powder. I'm going to show you first, too. Um, and it's made with meringue powder because it's stable. Mm -hmm. So that way small children and pregnant women can eat this and mm -hmm. no one's going to get sick. And you've already put it in the bag I, I got it in the bag for you, but I just want to show you a quick trick, too. For those of us who are challenged, use a glass oh, to fill your pastry oh, bag. Because yeah. it's, like, super easy. You just oh, put it wow, in and then use the lip of the glass to kind of oh, wipe oh your spatula. Oh, my goodness. I can't yeah. tell you how many times I've fought <laughs> with those bags. Yes, yeah, smart. because they're just, they're pain. So that That's way, and then... Around. Also, when you're done, you just throw it back in the bag. Oh. So we're going to use the um, pastry bags with the tips. So you guys are going to use oh, so those. You, oh, need, yep, okay. you have a tip, and Stephanie used the bag with a tip. Okay. So when you go around, um, actually the purple no you tip. could use. Okay. I'll okay. And we're going to hold our pastry bag straight up and down, and we're just going to let it fall. Okay. Let it fall. And we're going to go around the cookie. You don't have to be right on the edge of the cookie, but just let it fall two hands and go all the way around. Let me get this out of your way. Yep. Okay. So, super easy. Now, if your line's a little squiggly, that's yes, your pressure. Yes, not. Yeah, uh, so maybe two hands, too. So that could be a little of your pressure. So lay it up on your pressure, good. And you wanna hold it straight up and down because this is gonna be our dam because our next icing is gonna be very fluid. Mm -hmm. So if you have any cracks in that, it's gonna run all over the table. Oh. So important. Okay. Hey, nice job. Good job. Mm -hmm. A little squiggly, but little that's squiggly. all right. I know. This is when I tell you to have a drink. Mine looks like the same. <laughs> it looks like I've already had a drink. Right. You know, that's when you have a drink to, like, loosen up that line. But very good. Yeah. I should so give you this art, yeah. sort of. Yep. So it just helps. It's going to hold it in. So the next icing we're going to go to is something called a glacé icing. Okay. It's made with confectioner sugar, corn syrup, and milk. And this is a very fluid icing. But what I like about this is it dries with a little bit of a sheen to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You ever see those Martha Stewart cookies? They're like matte finish. Uh -huh. This is going to be shiny. So, like and that. also really when you pretty. bite into it, it's going to be softer on your mouth oh. instead of that like cement crunch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So with this one, you're going to be a little more careful with it. We're going to use the pastry bag that have no tips on them. Okay. And we're going to use our scissors and cut a little tip. Oh. So, Linda, I know. Linda, I'm going to give you oh, that. I'm or that one. Yep. Yes. yep. It's okay. And then? And then we're going to flood the cookie. So, we're going to just kind of. the cookie. Kind of go right on the inside. <gasps> and it's going to come flooding, out. I'm flooding, but I don't You're know flooding. how to stop the flood. You're going to lift it up to the ceiling. Perfect. Good she job. Said, and then you can the put flood. it right in the oh, bowl, okay. too. Okay, I still have a little flooding left. Yeah. Too. And you want to be careful that that icing is not going to run over the cookie. If it is, you kind of overfilled it. And you can use a little spoon to kind of help you just move it around. Oh, oh. You did a good job. Oh, thank you. Exactly what yeah. she said <laughs> I did. Yeah. Yeah, so you're <laughs> a little. Less. Yeah, okay, so a little My less dam is next not time. Hoping. Yeah. <laughs> a little less. Less. Yeah. So you could then let the cookie dry. And then decorate on top of it. You know, once it's dry, you can make your design. Okay. But if you wanted to make the design, I'm going to borrow this for one second. That's good. You can do it while it's wet. I'm trying to get mine to dry. <laughs> Blowing on it doesn't help. No. So it depends. If we're going to put, like, sugar or sprinkles or so forth, we would want to put it on when it's wet so it has something to okay. stick to. But if it's dry, then we can go back to that original icing to kind of um, pipe on top. 
but I'm going to show you another technique too. Okay. While it's wet, if you want the design to be flush, uh -huh. you would do it while it's wet. What so, do you mean flush? Oh, um, like another thing inside it like, is melting in? Yeah. Oh, so, so that's how you're making the cool designs. You're the cool designs, oh, yeah. and then you would take, so Linda, you could do that too. Take another color if you a wanted. A different color on my tombstone? Yep. And Mine then looks just like draw. an awkwardly shaped oh. state of Florida. <laughs> It's supposed to be a boot. Yours yeah. looks like a Jacksonville Jaguar. <laughs> she just needs a little practice, but it's okay. Like and you yeah. know what? Mine is, I'll show mine real quick yeah. here. Yeah, mine, I got within the lines. Oh. And what's cool about what Stephanie did is she used black and white. So you see the color oh, difference nice. versus if you use the same color like you did on the pumpkin. You can do yeah. orange on orange. Uh -huh. You can mix the colors up. So that way you can kind of play around with well, it. Well, I love it's this. And you can actually celebrate Halloween on St. Armand Circle at the 9th Annual Fright Night. It's going to be Tuesday, oh, the oh 31st, so starting good. at 6. Look, Linda oh. piped. She did oh. R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to start at 6 p.m. and going all the way until 8.30. Kids can trick-or-treat around the circle. Yep. And there will be high school performances and, of course, infamous zombie, zombie dance. dance. <laughs> all right, we'll be back. back. Do I put the...